I miss the arts. I miss the arts. Welcome back. Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley and other city leaders marked the start of reinvigorating the art scene in the city. From the city's $291 million of stimulus money, somewhere in the neighborhood of $11 million will go to the arts. Everything's going my way. Six million in direct grants to performing arts operations, one million to ArtsWave in hopes of bringing back Blink in 2022, one million for outdoor public space art performances this year, one million dollars to the museums which have struggled to stay open. Then money will be given to employ high school and college students to create a million dollars worth of art and murals around the city. So the arts were the first to shut down with the pandemic and they're the last to come on board. And while there were special relief funds for various groups, I uh, think about the restaurant relief funds, you know, the arts have, have really suffered. I've give you a heart that's as bright as the sky. Cincinnati opera singer Christian Purcell knows firsthand the strain the pandemic put on artists. Being out of work and relying on unemployment, having trouble getting unemployment has been really difficult. Purcell and a friend started a video production company and streamed performances on YouTube. But for artists like Purcell, nothing compares to performing before a live audience. It's special. It's a special moment that will never be repeated. That's what's so great about live performance. Well, we do love to hear them sing and dance. The region's arts community usually has an economic impact of more than $300 million a year. Now, Arts Wave worked to provide millions of emergency funding to artists and organizations during the pandemic. The proposals will go through council hearings, and then Cranley believes the organizations will see that money in about a month. Ashley Kirkland, WLWT News 5.